Well, here we are, another Sunday sermon. Uh, and uh, when I say we, it would be, be me, uh, T from Patterson's taking the train to the bed. And uh, Mrs. Twilly here, who's who's looking for what we're going to be talking about this Sunday sermon. As you know, we read from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And uh, and we post this up on Sundays. That's why it's a hey, Sunday. Hey, Russell. Hey, did you, did, did you find something yet? Hey, um, I'm finding something. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tool. It's basic method of resisting racism. Oh, you like that one? Okay, let's uh, okay, let's let's see what we got here. Yeah. Um, um, now you saying where is he getting this from? Well, that's a good question. He's getting it from the it's page forty-one. From page the 40, book. Forty-one. He's good like that because I don't remember the, 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 the pages that he got it. Whatever. So we 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 uh, we read from uh, the nineteen eighty-four edition. Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. has a uh, uh, the. I keep on saying 2016. I hope it's 2016. <laughs> uh, 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 new, that's the new revisor. But this is the original uh, big font kind of thing here. Yeah. Of the, oh, this is the original. Yeah. And, uh, oh, why, why Mr. Tolly is here and why he picks it up because we're in South, we're in Southern Africa and he's he's a Southern African person and he does a translation for the Amakosa you know, culture. So anyway, so if you can just read the book, uh, the Amakosa... Uh, the United Independent Computer Compensatory Code System Concept. The textbook, the textbook. The yoga, the the tete, For a matoba, ozo ba, ozo Okanyike, racism. We white supremacy. Okay. White supremacy, not white. He palweke, ngumiste neli fula. The journey of Omni. In what he could say on 1984. He may play which year it was written which year? Well, he started right in 1959 in Korea. We have what to tell why North Korea in 1954. What do I coach again in 1984? Okay, so Miss Tully then picked out uh, under the oh, what title is this under? Title, I think there is no title here. No, 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 no. This is where it's like, what's page 41? 41. Oh, you're right. This is before. Oh, okay. He'd be correct a lot. I'd be incorrect a lot. So that's how, <laughs> that's how that rolls, right? Uh, this is part of... Well, oh, okay. Um, this, this is contents and subject... In, this is a subject index. And this is page 41. Oh. So it's uh, four basic show offisms by, by among victims of racism. That's the title of that. The, we're not going to deal. Well, we there are nine areas of, of human activity. Mr. Neely mm -hmm. Fuller Jr. talks about, but we're not going to deal any of those areas right now. We're going to deal with this front, front part of the book where uh, he's up to. Uh, he says there's four. So this is there's four basic show off things, yeah. and then, then he goes to two basic methods of resisting racism. So let's do that. We'll do that one. Let me yeah. see. There's page forty one. Oh, it keeps on going. Wow, we got a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you picked the big one. Let's go. Uh, two basic methods of resisting racism, which Mr. Phil Milton Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. One of the basic methods is a uh, uh, four wallism. He calls four wallism. And the other, the second basic me method of resisting racism and white supremacy would be open airism. Okay. Then he has the explanation. So he has the, the title there, and then he, then he yeah. goes to the explanation under it. Okay. Yeah, plus explanation of the title upper, and then we are explaining. Ukuwan kubeko utu songo kusizau zau 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 tetango four wallism. Explain the four war method. Of fighting racism, of fighting white supremacy, which is racism, okay. is the general title given to the concept of having a special meeting place. For persons who seek to resist. Uh, supremacy, white supremacy. Okay. For a band to a bar, Funo Taylor would take any one's band again, you know, no band to look. 
white supremacy. So beyond the four walls, you, know, you yeah. have to have a. Fune ube na matunga be man. Lugutwa i four walls. For the most part, this includes the following. Leo na ntoa ipe balik leyo zi zi ngamnye zes dos lande lai. Regular meetings by two or more persons. I in the barn we in the barn we zilan de la nayo. Gabando ababi nuka ni kapizu. Another four wall uh, method is the renting or and or buying of meeting halls and or buildings. Indo e nye lande lai uba mani mani kwe she in da wek za ubanji la kuzu in tanga nuka ni 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 tege in da wek za ubanji la kuzu in tanga. And you have to have repeated fundraisings to you know maintain these buildings and. Funeka ni nze indo e ube tuwa kwe mali kube kwa kwenzi la kuzu kwenzi 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 kwenzi. Centralized or closed in activities. Formal acquisition and storage of supplies to be distribu- distributed and or sold for support of the organizational activities. Mandatory and regular payment of dues. Remember, this is all under four wallism. Payment of salaries and or giving of awards to organizational personnel. Regular accumulation of funds for legal fees, etc. Designated leadership, persons who regularly give orders or directives. Designated designated of fellowship persons who regularly follow uh, of or follow the orders and or directors of the persons who are dis- designated as leaders. Promotion. Uh, promoting the practice of thinking, speaking, and or acting as if a particular member, uh, 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 a particular number of people situated in a central place at a certain time and calling themselves a particular name or title constitutes an organization. <laughs> Remember, we're still under four wallism yeah. here. Okay. Promoting the practice of calling an area of land by specific name and or title and or referring to it as a country, nation, state, etc. So this sounds like it's a little bit beyond the walls now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Promoting the practice of calling persons by a specific name and or title and then associating that name and or title with the name and or title associated with a particular area of land. Promoting the practice of associating a person with a thing by speaking and or acting as if the person and the thing are one and the same, and or that the person and the thing represent each other. 
kanye londo kutetuwa ngayo, kanye londo iye mzikayo. Umtu lowo, unento bayafano, kanye into leyo na lomtu bayafano. And the examples that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. gives is like buildings, flags, maps, pictures, statues, or just words in general. The four wall method is a standard and or traditional procedure used by the victims of white supremacy in their resistance to white supremacy. Can you imagine that the victims of white supremacy are you are using the procedures that come from white supremacy? No, my book. You can translate that if you want. I guess you don't. It is called the four war method because. The non-white people who use the method plan, talk, and or generally try to inspire each other by meeting each other regularly. In a building that usually has four or more walls. Hence the four wall theory or method. Okay. The walls may be stone, wood, wire, and or uh, some other structure that is erected by people. I would stop here, but I think yeah. I'm going to keep on going. That's, yeah, I like that. Ooh. The effectiveness of the meetings in the accomplishment of their purposes are oftentimes judged on the basis of the numbers of people that appear within a walled area at the same time. Now you can see where that's a that's like a, a trick. Yeah. They want to know how many members you got. Members you got. And the num number of members you got, that makes you more important. More. <laughs> if you got a million members, that's better than having 500 members. Or five members, nah. according to white supremacy. Okay, anyway, let's go back to the point. If the, if the same people assemble often enough, they are usually asked or expected to assemble regularly. If they may be awarded a name and or title and told that they are members of an organization of people. The structure, building, etc., in which the members meet as usually cons is usually considered to be a headquarters. Or central meeting place. The power of the people attending the meeting at this headquarters is oft times 
measured by the total number of people who appear regularly at that particular place. Those persons who appear regularly are usually expected to contribute money. Socialize and use names and or titles that are associated with that particularly particular assembly of people at that particular place of assembly. Now I'm actually going to end here. Yeah. I think that's that, that's enough. Yeah. But you see, that's the whole thing. We should explain that you have people really upset when they ask, "Well, because you, well, cause you <laughs> I just thought of that." Because you have your, uh, <laughs> oh, explain. <laughs> we had your organization, and they say, "Well, where's your headquarters?" You say, "Dimbaza, the all Dimbazas." Yeah, it was two <laughs> years back. Yeah, exactly. it was two or three years back. So explain it. Is it close? It yeah. Is it close yeah. to what? What? I I mean, three or four years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the movement. So, abanya malungu organization. offices 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 if four walls we are in Timbaza, we will need us to get it in Timbaza because we belong in Timbaza. In Google and in Composer alone, we will be And mess a whole lot of people up. <laughs> what, what was going on? Because it was Timbaza, the movement. Because when you say the movement, it's something that is moving. So that's why I said Timbaza, the movement. Because where you get the movement, you know it's Timbaza, the movement. That's it. All right. Talk All to right. you all later. Later.